Hi there, this is Joe. This video I'm going to tell you the difference between the trail camera and the IP bird feeder camera. Both camera can be used in to watch the bird in the garden. This is the trail camera, also named game camera. One of the features for this camera is it's using the battery. So we basically we can place anything anywhere we want. You just start working once we put it there. Alright, and the camera also have the infrared. It's for night vision. This is the motion detection. It can detect the object find through there and trigger the camera to take a snapshot or record the file. Right now let's take it inside of the camera. This is the place we are holding the battery. If the battery runs out, we need to replace the new one. There's small LCD display building, so we can using this LCD display plus the press button to configure the camera. And this here we will start the we will turn on the camera and we'll see in the LCD display and the light from the camera. There's micro SD card slot. This is the 32 gigabyte micro SD card. So the file will recording to the SD card and we can play back by using the LCD display or we can take the SD card back to our home and using the PC computer to watch the live. Right, now this is the IP bird watching camera. And you can see there's no battery built in. So either we can using the power data or the battery pad to power the camera. And this is the Wi-Fi antenna. So we can connect this camera to our Wi-Fi network. And in this case, we will able to view the camera online anywhere, almost anywhere, anytime, using the tablet or the P PC computer or the mobile phone. And if there's no network in the scene, such like the network signal is not good, then we still can use the, this camera by connecting to the camera's internal Wi-Fi. There's access point built in the camera. Right, now the camera lens is, is adjustable. This is very important for the ball watching, but because once after you set up the camera, you need to adjust the lens to get the best focus. And there also has 64 gigabyte micro sticker built in. Instead, we cannot take off the micro sticker, but we don't need. We can using the tablet or PC computer or the mobile phone to retry the recording file to watch it live or play back the file on the mobile phone or tablet. And the last thing is the camera also have the motion detection, but instead it detects the object flying. It just checking the analyze the image if there's there's something change on the image. The camera can send a notification message to our mobile phone or the tablet. Such like if there are bird running there, then you, you can see the message from the tablet. Then we will be able to log in the camera to watch the live. All right now, let's the final step. We will go to the apps and to watch the live of this camera. All right now we have using the power pad to power the camera. Now the camera is up. We are going to using the uh, tablet to connect to our camera's Wi-Fi directory. First, we need to make sure the table light has been connecting to the wi camera's Wi-Fi access point. We go to the network setting. Okay, this is the camera's Wi-Fi access point. Okay, now we go to the apps. We click the more. We choose the AP mode. We choose the direct AP connection. Okay, now camera's live now. And we also can play back the recording file. This is the recording file taken a few minutes ago. Click here to switch to full screen. Alright, that's all. Thanks for watching.